Good morning, everybody. This is Jimo. So today I'm gonna continue with calculus. Calculus. And specifically today's topic will be techniques of differentiation. Techniques of differentiation. Before I proceed, I'm going to take a quick revision of last video. So, briefly, what is um, calculus? Calculus contains two major subtopics. One is differentiation. Another one is integration. Integration is also called anti-differentiation. Okay, so um, in the last video, we started with differentiation. And um, I introduced the power law which is used for differentiating polynomials. For example, I said if you have y is equal to a x raised to power n. If you want to differentiate this one, all you need to do is just multiply this n by this a and subtract 1 from n. So, it means the derivative of y with respect to x will be a n x I mean n minus one a n I mean a times n x then n minus one. So I want to give an example here at least to refresh our memory. Given that y is equal to um, 3x raised to the power minus n, the derivative of y with respect to x is 3 times, you see, minus 4, then x raised to the power minus 4 minus 1. So, 3 times minus 4 will be minus 12 x minus 4 minus 1 will be minus 5. So this is just um, a revision of what we did last week. Today we're going to proceed and go a bit deeper. So as I said, today's topic is, is techniques of differentiation, techniques of differentiation. So here we have varieties of them. I will um, quickly list them. The first we have composite function. Sometimes it is called chain rule. We also have the sum rule and uh, we have the product rule and uh, we also have the quotient rule these are the four major techniques of differentiation. Today, I'm going to be taking on composite function. I did this already, so I may not repeat it again, the sum rule. I treated this one on the differentiation of polynomials. So, 
um, today I will be going to composite functions or chain rule. So um, this technique is used to um, differentiate a function that is a bit difficult to express in the form of polynomial. Let's take for example, you have a function like y is equals to 1 over um, 3x minus 2 raised to power 3. We can see it is very, very difficult to begin to expand this one. And after the expansion, for you to come and make um, this one uh, to, to come to the top and become polynomial. So what you do is to rewrite this as 3x minus 2 raised to power minus 3. Okay? Still like this, you cannot do anything in terms of expansion. So functions like this are called composite functions. Okay. Now the general formula, the general formula to um, to solve this kind of problem is if you have y is equals to um, a x raised to the power n, the way we used to have it before. So what you do is to put them in form of composite functions. So dy dx will be equal to dy du times du dx. So this times here is, uh, this dot here is multiplication. So we are going to be using this formula throughout today. So um, it's always very simple and it comes out very well in jam. So let me just take one example. Example one. Example one. So I'm going to take it from uh, UME, now UTME, 1998, question 38. If y is equal to 2, 4, 3, 4, x plus 5, raised to power minus 2 find dy dx when x is equal to 1 this is the question so our score booster solution goes thus So what are we going to do here? What we're going to do is to convert this into composite function. Okay. So the first thing is to write the formula. We are going to have dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx okay we cannot have the y du without expressing y in terms of u we can have the u dx without an expression that express u in terms of x so what we are given is two four three 4x 
plus 5 raised to the power minus 2. So we're going to create our u from here. So you say let u be equals to 4x plus 5. If u is equals to 4s plus 5, then y becomes 2, 4, 3, right? u, what? Minus 2. Yeah, that means you're following. So, permit me to call this one equation 1 and uh, this one equation 2. So, if you take a look at this one, the meaning is that from equation 1, we can find the u, the x, because u is expressed in terms of x. From equation 2, we can find the y, the u, because y has been expressed in terms of u. So, so, Please, uh, permit me to rewrite equation 1 I, uh, and equation 2 for clarity purpose. So, from equation 1, I said u is equals to um, 4x plus 5. So, we are going to find du dx. So, du dx is equal to 4. And y from equation 2 is equals to 2, 4, 3, u raised to the power minus 2. From here, the y du is equals to minus 2 times 2, 4, 3, u raised to the power minus 3. So, for the simplification of this is equal to minus 4 h6 u raised to power minus 3. So our dy, dx now, which is equal to dy, du, times uh, du dx will be equal to dy du is uh, minus 4 h6 u raised to the power minus 3 times the u dx is uh, 4. So if you simplify this one, you multiply 4 by minus 4 h6, you're going to get minus 1 9 4 4 u raised to the power minus 3. Okay, remember your u is 4x plus 5. So substituting for u here, we're going to have minus 1944, then into 4x plus 5 raised to the power minus 3. At x is equal to 1. So our dy dx, dy dx will be equal to just substitute for x here. Substitute wherever you see x, just put 1. So if I substitute for 1, it will be minus 1944 into 4 times 1 plus 5 raised to the power minus 3. So um, what I'm going to have there if I do further simplification is that it's going to be minus 1944 then into if I have uh, 4 times 1 plus 5 as I have here I mean 4 times 1 plus 5 is equal to 9 so it's going to be 9 raised to the power minus 3 now from our law of indices we know that this minus if we bring down this 9, make it a denominator, that minus becomes plus. And from here, we have minus 1944. 
over 9 times 9 times 9. You are not allowed to use calculator in them, so you should be able to factorize this one. 9 goes, 3 goes, like that. And at the end, you're going to have 8 over 3. And this can be 2 or number 2 over 3, depending on what you have as your uh, options. So this is uh, just the example on the composite function. I'm going to limit myself to this uh, just one example here because I'm still going to take this um, composite function on the, I mean on the, some other topics such as uh, differentiation of trick. So once we get there, then we are going to take more examples. So I will give you some exercises now, just for you to try your hands on exercise. Number one, differentiate. Why is it possible? get 3x plus 4. Number 2, find the y dx. If y is equal to square root of 1 plus s squared. So your answer now is uh, x over 1 that's good. Number three, find the y dx if y is equal to one over four s cube plus five s squared minus seven x plus eight you are expected to get the answer in the form of this. So, good luck.